Yo, 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 what up, though, man? Got Dash in the building, man. What's good? What's going on, brother? Hey, man, you know, trying to make it happen, man. You know, 2020 gone, man. 2021 here. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to run the money up, man. How about yourself? Same here, man. Trying to trying to make it. Trying to retire early. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And when you say retire early, what do that mean? Retire from this job I've been on 11 years. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Shoot, man, you know, a lot of people always talking about right now between always balancing between being a boss and working for somebody. Right. Being that, you you know, you still got your nine to five and you still and making your dreams happen at the same time, which we're going to get into. But how do you stand as when people try to kind of more highlight being a boss over actually working for somebody? Man, I don't even know how to answer that question, to be honest. Um, next question. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. <clears throat> no, for sure. And the reason why I brought that up, you know what I'm saying, it's just like a lot of people shit on employees, but it's right. like, fuck, if you got your own business, you got to hire employees. So do you shit on the people below that, you the below you that run your business? Right. And I, I'm going to speak on that on for this reason, because um, I just recently had COVID. Gotcha. Right? Okay. So. Uh, and after, after a certain amount of days, they try to make me come back to work mm. after I tested positive again. Gotcha. So that right there really made me. And I, I've been in my job 11 years. I ain't never called in. Gotcha. So and that right there really just gave me a new outlet. Like they really don't give a, you know what I mean? They really don't care about you. They only care about what you could do for them. So going forward, you know what I mean? I'm really finna push it to the limit and really try to get on up out of there, man. Cause that Cause right there was an eye opener for me. So then with being that you're a boss yourself and you're doing your own thing, like what do you do differently that you learn from that when you carry over to your own co company? Man, treat, treat everybody right. Especially if they loyal, you know, and dependable. Yeah, for sure. Uh, okay. So right now, man, you got your clothing brand on, man. The joint fly. It's yes, been sir. popping all over my Instagram lately. I seen number seven with it on. I seen Rainwater shot it out, man. Kind of introduce the brand, what it is, what it stands for. Uh, it's a LIAC. Uh, definition is uh, the art of doing everything slowly with no rush mm. while enjoying life in the process in general. Gotcha. Okay. And so how did you come up with this brand? Like why jump in the clothing lane? I Man, I done tried. I've been trying stuff for years, different different avenues, try to take pictures, try to okay. be a photographer, try to be a videographer. I Man, I done tried all kinds of, a lot of that stuff didn't work for me. So, you know, I was just I, I was I was watching a lot of other people that was doing brands, but nobody had like a brand that was not catered to the hood or you know what I mean? So I did a lot of you know, research and try to find something that everyday life people could adapt to. Got you. And, and could wear. So like when, when people want to shop your brand, like where can, where can they go shop it? You know what I'm saying? And what kind of pieces can we get from that? Man, I add pieces. I try to add pieces, uh, on a regular, I try to try to be different a lot. Um, I don't know, man, I'm trying to get away from the, the normal jogger sets and, Got you. you know what I mean? I really want a brand. That's why I like, you know what I mean? Coming with the vest and, you know, come summertime, I'll be having the polos with the shorts, with the matching shorts. I'm just just talking to manufacturers and stuff right now, trying to uh, plot out some stuff. Got you. Okay, so like, when you say trying to be different, do you try to, you know, the Kanye route? Like, you see his fashion show and that shit just look kind of like, nah, kind of crazy. Nah, yeah, I don't, don't want to go that far. But if the average... Clothing lines that you see, the small clothing lines, you know what I mean? They all, we all doing the same kind of stuff. Gotcha. So I really want to be a clothing line. I really don't want to just be the the everyday jogger sets or just a t-shirt. You know what I mean? I want to have some pieces, you know, the vest. Like summertime, I'm trying to get the blue jean vest and, you know, stuff like that. For sure. So take me through the, like, the process of it, like the design of it. Like, is it you designing everything yourself? Do you have a team of designers? Like, nah, where like, you draw your inspiration from? Man, I reach out. So I sometimes I sit around and think, man, and um, everything I want, I want, I want it with a meaning. Okay. Like I got a logo that's uh, playing chess, not checkers. Okay. You know, because uh, that's I kind of like live my life like that. You know, and then I got another one, um, the Alayak DNA, with the needle on it. Okay. Which it, and the needle represents, you know what I mean, the 
the light that got to be in you, not on you. <laughs> Sound like Izzo, pimping. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I just run my ideas by these graphic designers and, you know what I mean? They, they, they put it together for me. Okay. So like when it comes to dressing, when it comes to style, when it comes to fashion, like what's most important to you when you look at it? Is it the texture? Is it the cloth? Is it the fabric? What is, what is like the first thing you look at before actually designing a piece though? Um, man, logos first, cause that's what's going, you know, I mean? people are going to look at the shirt, but you know what I mean? That people not going to know what the fabric's like if they not, if, you know what I mean? They, they, they not going to want to come shop with you if they um, ain't feeling the logos that's on it. Facts. That's, that's real. So, you know what I mean? That's my first thing. I like to have some dope logos and then I go to the fabric. I want some good soft, soft, um, fabric. Just go from there. Got you. So, like, when fellas get dressed, and you know, and you know, they trying to get out, they trying to step out, fly. Like, what's some of the the biggest mistakes dudes make when they try to get fly? Help, help, man, help us who needs. Nowadays is baggy clothes, man. It's baggy clothes. Yeah, the the two baggy clothes. That's probably like forty and up. They still on that heavy. Man, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Everybody different. Everybody got their own lane. Gotcha. You know. I'll t- tell you the shit that that kind of I don't like that get me the shit that girls wearing with the bathing suit on top of the stretchy oh, pants. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that shit, tacky. It's whack as hell. Yeah, it's tacky. It's real tacky, man. Yeah. Okay, so like, let's talk about the, the, the origin, man. Exactly where you from, you know what I'm saying, and what was your upbringing like? I'm from McKinney. Okay. Um, I had a good upbringing, I ain't gonna lie. You know, my my mama and daddy still together. That's Grew dope. up in church. That's and, dope. Yeah, straight away, you know. But they let us bump our heads, which is what what made me grow up faster. You know, I wouldn't. Uh, I ain't gonna act like I was just the the streetest cat, or you know. But we ran the streets. But I learned. I learned. I, I learned early, and I got out the streets early. When I was twenty two. I started working, and just. What what lured you coming from like a good household? What what lured you to the Dasher Streets? Everybody in the, the neighborhood. I got you. So your partners. Yeah, homeboys. Okay. My house always was the kick it house, so you know. Get get out there and get a taste of it. I tell you what, like my son, you know what I'm saying, he ain't he not gonna know the hood. I mean, I grew up in Detroit. I'm from Joy Road, but he not going he never hopefully he won't never know the hood right but i hope he be a rapper cuz i'm a i'm like nigga you got to rap about the shit like you ain't never been broke like since you came in the world all you known yeah. was money like that's the type of shit i want him to be on if he a rapper i don't want him to feel the pressure like i got to have a sad story right i got to have a got it out the mud like right. nigga i ain't never seen a mud but i only <laughs> got it out of marble nigga like that's the type of shit i want him right. to be on um with the um the whole brand how long ago did you kind of put this together and bring this for how long? I mean, I guess how long did you ago did you think out the process of getting into the clothing and how long did it actually take for it to happen? Man, to be honest, I started um, looking into it like after Nipsey died. Mm. After Nipsey died, I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos on him and, shit, and he was always talking about ownership and all that kind of stuff. So um, I don't know, man. I just I got into it. Start. I, I didn't have customers at first, you know, but I've always been a people's person. Gotcha. So, uh, you know, I, I started posting it, start posting it, making them posting it, making it posting it. People start coming after that. What, what's your highest selling piece? Uh, it might have been the um, the Lyak DNA. Okay. That's been. I mean, this is my OG logo right here. So this is the very first logo I started with. So. Okay. Of course, I've sold a lot of these, but I think the Lia DNA one I've sold the most of. And so you and you based online, no brick and mortar where people can actually go in yet. I just started. No, 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 no store. I just got my website going. So okay. basically, I just been on social media, just moving through some social media. Would you ever want a store? Man, if I if I could get it, if I if I get the sales to be able to pay that rent and still be able to, oh yeah. It just seemed like the overhead is some bullshit. Like oh, yeah. I would. I feel like if my product sold and outsold, mm-hmm. I would never want a brick and mortar. They just eating the profit. Right. Like if I can just ship it, yeah. Find a way to satellite it. Yeah, man. Yeah. And profit all the money. So like with 2021, man, like 
what's your vision with the brand? What are you hoping to accomplish before like the year is over with? Man, get a big bag. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm gonna keep bringing new heat. Like I'm telling you, like I don't know, man. I, I just don't talk about my goals. I I just like the I'm like an action like type person. I feel you. Know you. What I mean, like I don't like I don't write stuff down. Nothing, man. I just envision it. And go straight to trying to trying to get it done. Got you. What about big and tall like the big dudes, bro? Like I feel like we get screwed over with the with the gear, man. We be having to squeeze into the shits that we ain't supposed to be in. Yeah. Are, um, are you looking out for us? Eventually, I am. Like, and oh, I've been so learning. No, right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, I am. I am. I, I am getting up to. I mean, I could go to five X. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good on that. I'm straight. Yeah, down. but like, say like this. This was my first run with the vest. Yeah. But. Of course, I order all these vests, and then I get the bigger sizes, and the bigger size they 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 run small, so run small. So, like, what's the biggest size you got in that vest? I got right a three X. Oh, damn! I'm straight though. I'm yeah. good. I'm good. I'm good. I get in there. You know, eat a salad, and nothing else for about two days, and I'm in there. Like yeah. I've been there. You feel me? Yeah, but they run they run a little tight, but you know they just that's part of it, man. Just a learning learning process of this stuff, man. Especially dealing with these manufacturers because you don't know until you get it. That's why it's best to. Um, Buy samples first, but the sample like this vest right here probably would have cost me two hundred dollars just for one vest if I would have just got one sample. Gotcha. So if you have a young person out here that's watching this and they're looking to actually get into a, you know, what I'm saying the, the fashion business, starting off like what's some point and some tips and tricks that you would give out? Don't run a social media mad talking about nobody supporting you. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that yourself? I didn't do that. You seen somebody else do yeah, it? Yeah, I see a lot of people do that. Why not? But, why why shouldn't they do that? Because people are not going to support you. So if you complain about Because you support, don't know who, who you're talking about. You don't know who, people t- who you're talking about. You mm. know what I mean? Like Everybody's going to feel like you're shooting a slug at them, you know? Got you. Got you. Okay. So don't don't talk bad about yeah. your customers not supporting. Right. What's one more? Um, make something that's undeniable. Make your product good enough to where people going, you know what I mean? That they're going to have to come come grab some of that. Gotcha. Before we end, do you have like, I know you were talking about like the different facets of your, your uh, the brand or the clothing brand. Do you have like your, a luxury, you know how like Gucci got Gucci by Gucci, like this is that top shelf of Gucci. Do you mm-hmm. have that yet? No, I don't have that yet. You ever think about doing that? Uh, eventually, like the well, premium. I got, I'm really about to start building me a team, man, because it's I'm kind of getting overwhelmed right now. Like, gotcha. Yeah, with work and trying to do this full time, man. It's, I've been getting overwhelmed, so I'm, I am about to be looking for people to, you know, like a graphic design on my team, somebody could help me design. You know what I mean? For sure. Come with a different look than than my vision because my vision might be different, or they, you know what I mean? It's like just like I say, everybody got their own lane of what they wear. You know what I mean? Everybody ain't gonna. Everybody ain't gonna like this vest. That's fair. Know? So I'm just trying to get somebody, get some people to help me pick designs and different stuff like that. Okay. Well, shit, man. I'm excited to get my pieces, man. I'm definitely gonna rock so I can be, you know what I'm saying, cool like everybody else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I can, you know, let Rainwater know he ain't the only one. They ain't the only ones <laughs> that can get the shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But no, man, you definitely got some amazing merch. It's definitely see my people doing something, doing something well and bringing quality, not just quantity, man. And that's for real mogul moves, right. you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Hey, man, well, we're going to definitely have to link up again, man. Yes, sir. Oh, before we leave, man, shout out the website where they can go get the uh, The website is Alayak, A-I-L-Y-A-K, D-N-A dot com. Um, Instagram is Alayak underscore clothing. Facebook, Alayak underscore clothing. For sure, man. Well, hey, man. That's till we meet again, bro. We gonna hope you keep turning up, man. Appreciate it. For sure, bro. Peace.